Hey folks, this is Chris at Art Secret Studio. And from this clip that I had from a beginning class, I'd like to share something that's an incredible tool called Colds, C-O-L-D-S. Contrast, overlapping planes, location, direction, and size. It's a great way to harmonize your painting. It's a great way to tie the whole thing together. It's a great way for you to learn how to lead the viewer to tell the viewer where you want the viewer to look instead of the photograph or the actual scene you're looking at. So I'm excited for you to see this. I'm excited to see how Tintorito and Sargent and the Great Masters and then even Andy Warhol not doing this in serial imagery except a little memo, Sargent beat him by 100 years or whatever it was, when he paints Kashmir where there isn't one place to look. So when you want me to look in a sequential order, the Ackerman Colds is your go-to tool in, this, in the art world. Art tools today used in your artwork. Hope you like it. Another thing that happens in a painting is that you have what we call fragmentation. Okay, so I have a couple columns here on the right. I have a boat, okay? I have a bridge and I have a building. Right now they're separated. So contrast, overlapping planes, location, direction, size. Overlapping planes harmonizes and ties together things. So when I took the photograph, I made sure that the columns on the right were overlapping part of the boat I was looking at. Okay, then here are your steps. And then that boat by accident was overlapping the bridge. And then this boat is overlapping this boat. But how do I get these two together? Well, there's a shadow here that I could just kind of, even though it was coming down, I could just kind of meander the right a little bit. And that shadow would connect all the boats so I'm using the darks to connect my harmonization by overlapping. So if the objects aren't, so if I had another boat here and I said, gosh, he's like lonely out here, the shadow could connect him to the others. Artists have used darks to lead your eye through a painting like a ribbon. I'm suggesting the darks work. We all do that. So does color. So if I'm, well, let me finish the overlapping planes, I'm sorry. So then I've got the rails and they're overlapping the fence, this thing. And this is overlapping parts of this. So it's very important when I'm painting this wall that I stuck these windows in on the other side of the wall farther away because these windows overlapped with this building and it connected this building to this building. If I put only the windows here, then there's really nothing there to connect them. So I chose to put in the windows that are in the corner here. And then I like the light that's here, but the, the guardrail overlapped or the railing of the fence overlapped that. And then all I'm playing with is making sure when I put this shadow in that it's a diagonal to lead my eye in. So I had to be careful when I make the shadow that it meanders and out, but it's got to continue this diagonal line. So all of these lines are all telling the viewer, I want you to look here. That's where I want you to look. Overlapping planes, directional line, okay? More contrast closer to me. That's the C word. So the things closest to me could have more contrast and the things farther away would be lighter and not stick out as much. So my darks would get lighter. Okay, contrast, overlapping planes, location. Lower on the page is closer to me, higher on the page is farther away. Direction and size. Boats closer to me have to be larger, boats farther away have to be smaller. That acronym is a great way to harmonize a painting. And harmonize, I mean, it connects everything. Does that make sense? But when a picture is moving diagonal into the page, the acronym COLDS works wonderfully. But there's another type of composition. 
my wife's picture of her five pairs. Okay. It, there is no foreground, middle ground, and background. It's more of a contemporary piece where they're just flat. And you're looking from object to object. So overlapping planes is happening with the shadow, but more with the color blue. See how the blue is going? And she's used blue through the lines to connect them, but she's used color. She has the same colors on a lot of the same fruit that harmonizes too, okay? Location is not a factor on something that, so there's two types of art. It, it, it's flat and it's viewed up and down, or it moves in and out, okay? There is no directional change. There's no, I want you to look this way. It falls into something I call more serial imagery. There's no one point to look at. One day I'll look at the lemon on the left first. One day I'll look at the pear on the right. One day I'll look at the pear in the middle first. So I would paint some of the pears on the left. And then before even finishing it, I would paint some of the pears on the right. And before finishing, I'd paint some of the pears in the middle, you know, some of the part. And I'd be jumping from spot to spot to keep it balanced. So this Ackerman Colds, there's two ways to address a painting. And that really has to be established before you start. Is this flat? And, and examples of flat 